Hi, I'm Judy Yen from the laboratory of Kate Rubens at the Whitehead Institute for Biomedical Research. Here, we demonstrate how to label the antisense RNA samples collected from both vaccinia virus infected HeLa cells and virus by amino allele coupling of dyes. We then show how to clean up the labeled ARNA and prepare it to be hybridized for microarray analysis of gene expression. Previous Joe videos highlight how to perform the viral infections, total RNA isolation, and RNA amplification and amplification steps. So let's get started. To begin ARNA labeling, first add 1 microgram of the ARNA samples into 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tubes. Vacuum dry the samples on low or no heat until they are completely dry. Cap each tube as soon as it is dry. It is important to not over dry the samples. After they have dried, add 9 microliters coupling buffer to each tube and resuspend the ARNA by gently vortexing for 1 minute. Centrifuge briefly to collect the sample on the bottom of the tube and then let the sample sit on ice. Next, add 22 microliters high quality DMSO to each tube of Psi 3 or Psi 5 dye. One tube of dye is enough for two samples. The Psi 3 dye is for labeling your reference samples and the Psi 5 dye is for labeling your test samples. Vortex the dyes to mix thoroughly. Remember to keep the dyes in the dark until ready to use. Do not prepare the dye earlier than one hour before using, and make sure no water gets in the dye DMSO mix at any point. Now, add 11 microliters of the prepared DMSO Psi dye mixture to